we all know about AMC and the you know issuance of 3.3 million more shares, more dilution. It's not really a shocker. It's not really a surprise at this point. But despite all of this, I feel there is a lot of hidden things that went on with this effing play that has never been revealed. All right, I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but there's more than meets the eye here than just illusion. Uh, you know, it's just there's a lot of stuff that went on here. It, it seems like Adam Aaron doesn't give a shit. I mean, the guy's talking about selling branded friggin' uh, chocolate. <laughs> at him. That's all this guy. I mean, that's all this guy comes up with, whether it be popcorn or chocolate. Like, there are other ways of making money. I mean, you know, you look at IHOP what they're doing you see that's what i'm saying that's a company that that's a that's a company that wants to make money man with that wonka wonka breakfast it's like you know you got to think outside the box but this guy is stuck in the box you know he's like jack in the box like what is this guy gonna pop out you know pop goes adam and ron pop I got an idea to make money. You know, his idea seems like is to go bankrupt. Um, you know, I don't want to be negative. You know, there's a lot of corruption going on in this effing stock market. I say it once. I'll say it a thousand times. That's why, look, we all do what we got to do. But to me, it's all about real estate at this point for me. You know, look, I, I got really my ass handed to me. You got your ass handed to you with AMC, with this effing stock market. But you got to kind of ask yourself sometimes, is it your fault? It's like a gambler, you know? It's like a gambler who goes to a casino. How many times have I gone to the casino where I was the gambler and I was the player? And how many times mathematically things happened at the casino that made no sense? Like, in other words, you know, I'll play example. I'll play 16 red, 18 red, 19 red, 21 red, and 23 red. Statistically, you know, when you're playing five numbers out of 38 numbers, after like 10, 15 spins, that number should hit. And when you see 300 spins go by, you know, and that and those numbers are not hitting, something is rotten in Denmark. Something stinks. And that's exactly how I feel about AMC. Something is rotten in Denmark. Something stinks. You know, all these haters and, and these people are trying to make it seem like we're all just dumb money. We're, all bu we're a bunch of idiots. No, I don't think that's the case. I think we're all very smart. I think the movement was excellent. I think how we all came together worldwide. One retail family was a beautiful effing thing. And I'm proud of each and every one of my retail investors, you know, who had the, the bowls, the diamond bowls of steel to hold as long as they did. You know what I mean? To fight as long, as hard as they fought. But it gets to a point when something is not fair. If something is corrupt, you can't blame yourself. You can't blame me either. You can't blame people. It's just the system is rotten. The system is rotten. It reminds me of that movie, Pet Cemetery. I don't know if you ever saw it before, but they're like, the soil is sour. It's sour. But, you know, people wanted to save the life of their pet, or in some cases, human life. But then when they buried the, the human or the animal in the pet cemetery soil, it was sour. It was rotten. People came back as like crazed, freaking psychopathic lunatics, bloodthirsty, you know, like what? <laughs> because it just wasn't right. When something is not right, like, like they said in the, in the movie, they said dead sometimes is better. You know, this play is dead. It's, I know nobody wants to hear it. They're like, stop the FUD. Listen, I'm still holding. I'm with all of you. God bless you. God bless your families in the holiday season, but... My head is on real estate. I'm sorry. I'm focusing on, right now, oceanfront real estate. You know, Jersey Shore, Long Beach Island. Tremendous rents that could be coming in June, July, August. You know, tremendous appreciation on these very desirable properties. That could eventually lead to the desert, which is the ultimate goal for me. Las F and Vegas, baby, casinos. Ape father, king of the F and jungle casino. Las Vegas, but first, ocean first, meaning accumulate oceanfront property one by one. And I'm trying to start a new movement, the new movement, ocean first, meaning oceanfront properties, accumulate oceanfront properties all around the country, baby, not just Long Beach Island, you know, purposes of getting tremendous rent and uh, purposes of watching these 
properties accumulate tremendously in value because they're highly desirable oceanfront beachfront properties with the intention of one day going to Las Vegas as a casino operator and owner. A father, a father king of the jungle casino. Now you might see a big dreams. It's not really big dreams if you think about it because there were like 7, 8 million or close to 10 million retail investors, apes in AMC. You know, you think about combined what they could have done if they wanted to put their money in real estate. Again, this is not a solicitation for an investment. I'm just speaking hypothetically. I'm speaking for entertainment purposes only. But if you think about the money that was put into AMC, the money that was squandered, and my money too, over well over $200,000, could have been tremendous real estate, could have been acquired, tremendous rents could have been received, tremendous appreciation of real estate could have happened. Instead, we were all played like fools. Everybody plays the fool. You're no exception to the rule. But we don't have to be, we don't have to be the fools anymore. And that's why I'm starting a new movement. Ocean first, desert next. V for victory, baby. The V for victory project. Let's do it. This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.